In this video, we're going to do a comparison of the new M1 iMac and a 2019 MacBook Pro with an Intel i9 processor when exporting video from a couple different apps. I got the M1 iMac with hopes that it would be able to keep up with the MacBook Pro when exporting the video tutorial lessons that I create using an app called ScreenFlow. Despite being completely silent, the M1 iMac couldn't match the processing power of the i9 chip, which shouldn't be a big surprise since this 8-core i9 is the top-of-the-line chip for the MacBook Pro. So let's start with an example from ScreenFlow. I'm going to export a lesson from the Maps for Mac tutorial on each of these Macs. First, notice that the M1 actually launches the app faster than the MacBook Pro. Now let's begin an export. These are the typical settings that I use to export lessons at 1080p. I'll save the files to the desktop on each Mac and then get started. As the progress begins, we can see the MacBook Pro takes the lead pretty quickly. The M1 just doesn't quite have the raw processing power of the i9 chip in the MacBook Pro. One major plus of the M1 is how cool it remains. The fans on the iMac never even start up. But the MacBook Pro fans spin up and get pretty loud, which we can hear in this clip. In the end, the MacBook Pro finishes well ahead of the M1 in this test. It's nearly twice as fast. Both Macs were running the most recent releases of macOS and ScreenFlow. Next, let's do an export test using iMovie. This project was recorded in 4K on an iPhone, and I'm going to export it into 4K as well on both machines. The M1 seems to keep up a little better when exporting from iMovie. This could be due to optimizations that Apple's made with their own software. Again, the MacBook Pro finishes well ahead of the M1 iMac. So it seems no matter the software, the M1 just doesn't keep up with the 8-core i9. That certainly doesn't mean the M1 Macs aren't great machines. They're not really meant to be top-of-the-line video editing workstations. Opening apps and doing general tasks on the M1 iMac is faster in most instances than on the MacBook Pro. And the computer runs silently. I haven't heard the fans come on yet. In the coming months, Apple should come out with an M1X or an M2 that will probably start to match or exceed the speed of the top-of-the-line Intel chips. Until then, thanks for watching and have fun using your Mac, whether it's Apple Silicon or Intel.